guys! Welcome to my dog's training garage. You've seen this area before in some of my videos, but I love this space so much that it deserved its own tour. into our garage is our slap mail. Then in the corner behind the door when it's open in the summer we have a ladder to set up the spring pool. Then we have a nail scratch board here that I will film a video about in the future. And over here we have measuring slats that we use when we practice high jump. Then over here we have our spring pool setup that we use for regular spring pool work as well as for high jump and hang time. Setup, we have a shelf full of the bike work gear, such as these Tom toys. Then underneath that shelf, we have a box of toys like chocolate balls and other toys, as well as this small stool that I can sit on when Mojo does 20 minutes on the slap mill. Then over here in the corner you will find our long jump setup. And right next to the long jump setup we have some agility gear. Now moving on we have a backup slap mill belt should the other one break. And in the back there we have a balance block that I built out of wood that we found in the garage when we moved in. Should a friend come over to do some dog sports with their dog and we have to keep ours separate. Then all the way in the back corner we have some stuff that's not for the dogs. Um, it's a heavy oven that came with the house but that we don't use. Um, but it's too heavy to lift up into the attic. Um, we also have a barbecue here. But most importantly for the humans, um, something that you will find in most Dutch garages I think in the winter. Um, it's nice and cold out so our beer is ready to drink at all times. Now over here we have one of my favorite things and that's the A-frame. Now the A-frame I built myself with the help of my dad and just like that I also built the long jump myself and the spring pole as well. There's so many things that you can create for your dog in a very easy way for not that much money and we will have some videos on that in the future. I'll link one that we made already up here. Now we're gonna end up at the final thing on this floor of the garage and I think that this might be the dogs' favorite thing and despite this being the sports shed, their favorite thing is food and this cabinet and this area is filled with their treats. Now over here we have the dogs' chew snacks and we just had a delivery from Bella Box yesterday so these boxes are filled to the brim. In here we have all natural treats. Um, these are all ears from different animal species. 
and down here this is mainly filled with dried skin of many animal species as well. And then in this cabinet we store several things. So up here we have containers that we prep their raw food in. Here we have some leftover supplements, backups for the ones that we use in the kitchen, as well as some training treats that we can still cut up into smaller pieces. This is a drawer full of random stuff that we use both for sports and for care. Up here we have a couple of licky mats. And down here we have a variety of kibble, high quality stuff that we use for training. Sometimes we do a lot of obedience and it's better to, to use high quality kibble at times than just meat based treats. So we basically have a variety of everything and we always use small packs so we don't have them open for too long. If we use a bigger pack we store it in the freezer. But yeah, so you'll see some kibble in our house despite us feeding raw and I can advise that to everyone, especially if you have a dog that is still growing, um, to keep the diet balanced. It's important not to only feed high quality meat treats but also kibble based. Now you heard me say this floor correctly and that's because our house is built on a hill. The ground floor of our house is level with the top floor of our garage and the ground floor of our garage is level with the street parallel to the one that our house is on. Um, so this is a two floor garage because of the fact that we live on a hill. Um, now the dogs' freezer is very big and it didn't fit up here but it was, would also have been a big hassle. So what we have here is our own freezer and the dogs' freezer is very big and that's downstairs. And this is the dogs' freezer that you will get a tour of in the future. I hope you liked seeing this area of our house and do let me know if your dog has anything cool like this as well. I think it's quite special and extra that we have this in our rental property and even though it's not pretty I'm very happy to have this space. For now, have fun with the dogs this week and tune in again on Thursday for another episode of Hiking with Staffords. Goodbye!